Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Maddie and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this makeup look. I usually don't wear this much makeup. This is going to be a full face glam routine, but if you are interested in seeing how I achieved this look, keep watching. I will be linking all of the products that I use in the description. But before we get into the video, I want to quickly talk about a company called Dossier. Dossier reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price. My favorite thing about Dossier is that they are so affordable. Their perfumes start at $39, while some designer scents range from $50 to over $200 in retail, which is crazy. I think something cool about their brand is that when they ship you the perfumes, they also send you a little card that talks about what it was inspired by. So this perfume that I picked out is Ambery Vanilla, and it is inspired by YSL Black Opium, and I actually have YSL Black Opium, so I compared the two scents, and they smell almost exactly alike, and the Dossier perfume is half the price of the YSL one and smells exactly the same. If you guys are interested in checking out the perfumes, it is important to know that they do have a free wrist system allowing you guys to try the products before you purchase them, and they also have free returns and exchanges forever. So if you have a favorite perfume that is very high priced, go check out Dossier. They have so many options. They have a new payment method called Catch that allows you to earn store credit. All you have to do is select Catch at the last step of checkout and you earn $10 credit. They have great bulk deals on their website, which is 25% off and free shipping for three plus bottles. And of course, I have a discount code for you guys. It is MaddieRook10 for 10% off your order. Again, MaddieRook10 for 10% off your order. Make sure you guys go check them out. They have so many options to choose from. And I'll have the link to their website down below along with the links to the two cents that I picked out. And let's get into the video. So first, I go in with this Lancome prep and hydrate primer also before I start this I do want to emphasize that this is not like an everyday makeup routine whatsoever I usually don't wear makeup this is more of like a full glam like eyeshadow eyeliner mascara all of it I'm gonna be doing like a full face of makeup so if that's not what you're interested in this video, um, then you probably don't want to continue watching this. But if you are interested in just like an everyday look, you can comment that down below and I also will film that. But this is more of a full glam routine. So first I go in with the NARS Concealer in shade medium 1.75 and I just put this all over my blemishes and in the parts of my face that I want highlighted. I found that putting concealer right here really gives you that like cat eye effect, which I like. And then I go in with this brush. I really don't have any details about this brush. This is what it says on it. And I just go in and blend my concealer with that. I used to use a beauty blender, beauty blender but I found that this like doesn't take so much of the um, concealer. Like, I feel like more of the concealer stays on your face and doesn't go into the brush as using a beauty blender would. I don't know if that made any sense at all. Also, you know what I noticed when watching like makeup tutorials and I just did it, that's why I thought of it. Why do we say, I'm just gonna go in with like this product? Like, what does that mean? Like, I'm just gonna go in with concealer. Like, go where? I don't understand. But like, I just did it myself, so. I'm probably gonna like fast forward these parts just cause I feel like it's pretty boring and I kind of just told you what I was doing. So once all that is blended, I use a liquid blush. The liquid blush I use is the Rare Beauty one in shade Joy. Um, I love this blush. Be very careful with it though if you do decide to go get it because it is very harsh if you put too much. Which like that even might be too much. But put a little on my nose. And then I also use a brush for this but like as you can see it's totally pink. So like I have to be careful because it already has so much product on it. 
I could like end up looking like a clown. And you just want to put the blush like on the high parts of your cheeks. That way, again, it gives that lifted look. I do like the um, sun-kissed look, which would go all the way across your face. But I found that it looks better if you just do like the apple of your cheek and up. And then do your nose as well. Like you don't need to go all the way across like a stripe. I feel like it's more natural when you like um, don't put it like straight across. I don't know if you guys even know what I'm talking about. But hopefully I'm explaining this well. Now that I've done blush, I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario um, Skin Enhancer in shade medium. And for this, I just used the Rare Beauty brush. I don't know if there's a number or anything. I think this is the Rare Beauty contour brush. And it looks like that. You just pat it in. And I do all my liquid products first before I go in with anything that's powder, just because... It's harder to blend liquid products on top of powdered pro products. So first, I just put these on like like the three. My mom taught me that when I was little. So it's like this, or did my mom teach me that? I learned how to do makeup like entirely for like all-star cheer and stuff when I was younger off of YouTube. I feel like my camera just got blurry. But off of YouTube, I would just watch countless videos on how to do makeup and I eventually just like taught myself obviously like tiktok has helped a lot with like learning new techniques and stuff but yeah as i said you just do it here your chin and then your forehead and i'm pretty sure some people put this all over their face but I feel like it's a little bit too dark to go all over my face, or maybe not. Should I try it? When I was buying it, the um, makeup artist that worked there said I could put it all over my face. But as you can tell, it kind of has a little bit of a shine to it. So I feel like it would make my face look oily. But I may attempt to just lightly put it all over. Also, I just want to clarify that I'm no makeup artist, so, like, this might, I might be applying products wrong and stuff, but this is just how I do my makeup. If it's wrong, I'm sorry, but it works for me, so. Next, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer in shade 3 Tan. It's literally massive. And then I just apply this on the high points of my face or like like I just said, like the three. Now I'm gonna be baking with the Makeup Forever in shade Golden Beige. It's 3.0. And then I just use this little brush to pat it into my skin on the parts that I would normally get oily. So like my T-zone here, just pat that in. And on places that like I get really oily, I'll let that let it bake. So like under my eyes. And then I like to bake on the side of my nose because it makes it, it like gives the illusion that your nose is smaller. So while that's baking, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade 3.75. I probably need a new one of these soon. Now that my brows are done, I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite brow gel. It is linked in my Amazon storefront under makeup. A lot of this stuff will be linked in my Amazon storefront under makeup. I will go add some of the things that I just recently got. The brow glue I use is by NYX. It just looks like this. I 
Like it makes them look so much better. And they like don't move. Now I'm gonna be doing more blush, but I use the a powdered one. Now I'm using blush. This is just a powdered one because it looks like it's still there on camera, but my blush is kind of hidden now. So I use the Tarte blush in shade Dazzled. Also, like blush is one of my favorite makeup products. Like I just think it adds so much to a look, like a makeup look. If you could only pick one makeup product to use for the rest of your life, what would it be? Like blush, bronzer, mascara? Comment down below, I'm interested. Mine would probably be bronzer <laughs> or blush. A lot of the time I'll just put liquid blush on when, before I leave the house. I'm now just going to be doing a little bit of a contour on my cheekbones with the Morphe palette. This is not a contour palette, but I just use Now Boarding and Road Trip, these two. This one kind of has more of a like, I guess like blushy look. It's more of like a red undertone tint. Um, and I lost my contour brush, so I'm just using this brush. Um, and I just put it... And I just emphasize my jawline. Next, I use this Lancome contour stick just to contour my nose. Um, if I'm not doing a full glam, I'll usually just use this like um, on my forehead, cheekbones, and under, and then my nose. And I'll just blend that and run with it. But since we're doing a full glam, I decided not to use it, but that's what I do on my nose. So basically, that's what it looks like. You do two lines down on your bridge, and then I just flicked you guys off. And then one under, and then one straight across. This will give like a button nose effect. And then I just use this little brush from Real Techniques to blend it. You want to blend this with a really light hand. And I like to like bring it up almost to like the top of my eyebrow because it'll... Sorry, I was blurry. Because um, it looks... makes your nose look skinnier. So that's it blended and what I like to do is take a tiny bit of concealer on your finger and go like this. This will make those lines that you put on your nose even more defined. Now I'm going to be doing my eyes and first I just use the Makeup by Mario, um, what's it called, Skin Enhancer again and I put that on my eyes and what you want to do is just like a windshield wiper motion back forth just look like that super subtle that's all I'm gonna do on my eyes um, sometimes I'll use the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'll go in with, um, Roxanne. Oh, I'm not even showing you guys. It's that one. Um, if I want more of like a pinky vibe because it makes my eyes pop because my eyes are green. Um, but instead I'm just going to use that pinky color to do my eyeliner because I use eyeshadow to do my eyeliner. I used to do like a really harsh black color that was like a liquid eyeliner, but I found that since my eyes are kind of on the smaller side, um, using eyeshadow is just a little more subtle. So I'm going to go in with that Roxanne color, and I'm just going to use one of these slanted brushes. Um, this is by It Cosmetics, and you just want to, I feel like you guys all know how to do this, but you want to do the point to your side closer to your eye. And what I do is just, I'm not going to talk during this because I have to concentrate, but I go. 
like that and I just create a little line and then I take the brush again and I connect the top of the line to I feel like this is so hard to explain I'll just show you if you guys can see this so it looks like that I feel like that's so pretty if you can even see it on camera next I'm gonna be curling my eyelashes this is a random eyelash curler from CVS I'm pretty sure and what you want to do is hold it for like 10 seconds I have like crazy eyelashes like they're long but like some of them stick straight out and then some of them are automatically curled so let's hope it's a girl good wow good eyelash set Huh. Does anyone else's eyes water after you do it? Okay, now I use this white eyeliner pencil and I put this on my bottom waterline. It makes your eyes pop so much. If you haven't tried this, definitely try it. Now for mascara, I use the Morphe mascara the make it big one this is just the mini and what I like to do I've done this since like literally middle school is I start out by putting mascara on the tips of my eyelashes and then I go in um, to the root or I don't I wouldn't even say I go all the way to the root but I found that if you do it on the edges like mostly on the edges it makes your eyelashes look way longer Let me go get a q-tip because your girl cannot do mascara without getting it all over her face and then i use the mac mascara it's like the extended play one so that's all for my eyes and now i just need to do my lips and then i'm gonna put a little bit of what's it called highlighter all right, almost done. Now I'm just going in with the Becca um, highlighter in shade Champagne Pop. And I just use my finger. Looks good. Just put a little bit under your eyebrow, on your nose. Okay, now I'm doing the last step which is lips and oh I didn't even tell you guys what I use I use the Revlon color stay long wear lip liner and it's in shade mauve I got this from CVS I have the pillow talk one but honestly I like this one better I feel like it matches my lip color like perfectly so it's super easy to blend um yeah so I just overline my bottom one like a tiny bit and then my top I just stay on track. And then what you want to do is after you line your bottom lip you want to um, take the color up onto your lip like shade it up if that makes sense. So I'll show you guys. So that is what it'll look like and then I mix two colors for my lip shade um, this is actually by Clinique I stole it from my mom um, it's shade bare pop and I like to put this on first and then I use the Mac lipstick in shade 
I think it's pigment of your imagination. It says 547 pigment of your imagination. Luster glass lipstick. So if you're looking for this shade, that's what's on the bottom of it. And then I just put this one over. But I don't like to put too much because this one's super pink. And then that is the final lip shade. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I'm not done. Then I just use the... I think this is KKW. KKW Soulmate um, lip gloss. And I just put that on like the inside of my lip. Like that. And rub it. And that will give like the bigger lip. Um, look and to make sure my makeup stays on I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray so that wraps up my glam makeup routine I will have all of the products that I used linked below in the description box if you guys want to do this look as well and I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video